what you're looking at here is a common way to clean up and or radius the edges of the sides of, in this case, the soprano uke that I'm making. Chalk mark the edges, sand them down, rinse and repeat. But whether you are radiusing them for the top and back plates or just sanding them flat, it takes a lot of time and effort. Like a lot of people that do it this way, the idea of motorizing the dish stays just like that as an idea. An open wood shop fan offloaded this big old craftsman drill. It stayed around taking up valuable shop space, not doing much, when the idea of using it to motorize the dish began to take root. And let me just say here that I wouldn't use a regular cordless type of drill to do this, but the motor on this honker handles the job with ease. I built up a box to house the drill and then put together the hardware to mount the dish to the drill. I used some HDPE plastic or whatever it is that my wife's cutting board is was to act as a kind of lazy Susan. It gives uh, stability to the dish and it takes the lateral pressure off of the drill chuck and motor shaft. And just like that, I made something that worked. Until it didn't. It seems that the two pieces of HDPE heated up and melted together. I have some Ipe ironwood in the shop and it has the advantage of being very tough and naturally oily so I replaced the HDPE plate on top of the box with that. I figured it might work as a temporary fix but I've been using this contraption for a while now and it's still working just fine. We'll see what happens in the future. So long story short what used to take me an hour or more to do now it takes me just a few minutes. And now with the drill encased in a box it stows away in the shop easily and I have some other ideas of how I can utilize this but that my friends is the subject of another video.